All right, guys, we got Luis here. Uh, he's a super dispatcher. And uh, under one of our videos, you guys asked about, uh, you want the dispatcher to, to tell you what we need from a driver. So here we go. That's a dispatcher for you. So what's up, man? What do you need from a driver to make the most money? What the driver needs to do for you to be able to make as much money as possible? Well, the trick in this industry is um, to make the most money possible is always be on a load. Um, if you're planning on being on a load on Monday, we hook you up on a load on Friday, possibly Sunday. They'll already have you hooked up on a load for Monday. That way you're already out of the door and already halfway there. And also we have to adapt to the market changes. The changes adapt, they change on a daily basis and um, we're, we're going around and we're adapting to them. And it's just trusting the process. Um, you know, the rates for today aren't gonna be the same as tomorrow, as well as the gas prices. They're not the same today as they are tomorrow, but the loads are there and you know, we just have to move them. Um, so we move them and we're always constantly making money. So if we go into an area where, okay, we're taking a hit here, but I'm putting you in an area where we're gonna make up for it. It's just a, it's just a matter of trusting the process. You know, I'm here to guide you and get you the best I can get you. And that's my mission and that's what I strive for every day. And you know, sometimes we won't make it up here, but on the next run, I got you for the last one and we're always moving, we're always making you money. Because if you stop the truck waiting for a better rate, it's not gonna happen. So the trick is to keep you moving and we keep the money coming in. And you will see at the end of the week when you see your, your settlement, you will see every sacrifice was worth it. So now my question is, for example, if you have a driver that uh Let's say uh, very indecisive and he, by the time you can get him out during the standard week is uh, Monday, late PM or Tuesday morning. And then this guy wants to, wants to be home back uh, Friday morning. Do you think you can make money for a guy like this? But no, no BS, man. Uh, honestly, no. Um, at that point, you know, we, we will make you the money because we will always make the money, but you're cutting your week. Uh, you're turning a seven-day week into a three-day week, essentially. Exactly. So I, you're really not running. You're you're pretty much just putting a bandage on something just to cover. Because coming out Tuesday, you're already losing your Monday. And to come back Friday, you're losing your entire weekend, which you have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to latch on those loads to your current statement. So you're losing your four day, your three days over the weekend, and you're losing the essentially two first days of the week. So... It looks like you're running a week because I came, oh, I came out on Tuesday, but all essentially you ran three days and you would not make a week's pay in one in three days. It's, it's impossible. Yeah, so I agree because, for example, the driver who comes out Monday late p.m., so Monday is already gone. Best thing that can happen, he's going to pick up a load, he's going to run it on Tuesday, or if he's going to run it overnight, then he's killing his hours and he's exactly. dead on Tuesday. So now he leaves Monday night. So from the driver's perspective, I worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because I came back Friday morning, when in reality, Monday, you only picked up a load, realistically, mm -hmm. unless you want to run overnight and then lose Tuesday to your hours of service and continue the week running nights or something like that. I don't think it's, um, you know, it's a good idea. And then you end up running Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you're delivering Friday morning here in Florida, you cannot count no Friday because you're only delivering and pretty much going home, I assume. So you only have three days, three days, tres. That's it. Three tres days. dias. Is that it? Yeah, exactly. Here we go. And essentially coming out Tuesday after 12 o'clock, after, eventually, essentially you're coming out Tuesday. Here we go. It says it's because you're picking up Monday, but since it's a late pickup, to get an early delivery, you'll have to run, like you said, Overnight, the entire night. Overnight, it's super short. And then when you deliver, you actually have to shut down, do your reset. You can't open your book until after lunchtime, which is now you're losing another day. So for you to make money, be on a load for Monday. That way you're running as soon as the day starts. And then you get me to run you on Monday, you have to be back home by Friday. We get you that load on Friday, but we will hook you up on a load on Friday that will deliver Monday. So you would get your weekend, but still have a load for Monday. So one more question, the last one. Uh, so for example, is there any truth? Because I was a driver myself. I remember talking that shit with my buddies out there trucking. 
Is there any truth, like with you, with your colleagues in the office, that the, if a driver is resisting the load, he eventually gonna get a better rate and eventually he's gonna get more money that he's gonna make through a week versus just uh, running with dispatcher and accepting pretty much everything that dispatcher is throwing at him. How accurate is that? Uh, it's not accurate at all. If you're if you're holding off for let's I'm gonna call it a unicorn. Um, you might think you found one, but in all reality, it's just something that was left over. Um, that's why we always try to book. We always book in advance because we actually plan a route for you. So we'll have you set up constantly to pick up and deliver, pick up and deliver. Now, if you're holding out for a load, waiting for a specific one, it becomes a scramble after that because we have no plan. So we'll start working around and eventually it hurts. It hurts the driver. All right. All right, guys. So here we go. Comes from my man, Luis here. Uh, by the way, if you guys are from Florida or Texas right now, we're working really, really hard on this Texas, Florida project and it's going to be amazing. So don't be the last one to jump on the on board. Christian, what's the phone number? 863-342-5171. 863-312-5171. Call me guy Christian and uh, get set up. Take care guys.